Hello beautiful, welcome back to Nat's Beautiful Life. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I set out for myself that I must read in the year 2021 and how well I've done on that list. If you are new to this channel, hello my name is Natasha and I read a lot of books and I like to share what I like and what I don't like and everything in between with you and I also like to get recommendations from you as well. Please be sure to like this video, click subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you never miss a video. So without any further ado, we're going to get into this. There are 15 books and I think I've done actually pretty well this year. So the first book, and I have my little notes here, uh, is Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir. And I have read this. This is actually, I think, the first book I read this year. The fourth and final book in the An Ember in the Ashes series. I highly recommend this series. It is Roman inspired, but there are also some other things there. Um, but I really enjoyed this. I was happy with the way everything ended. And I hope that encourages you to pick it up. <laughs> so, yes. First book read. Dropping the book. All right. Second book I have is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. This was one of my most anticipated books of the year, and I think it actually came out the end of last year. I could be wrong, but anyway, I actually have read this. This is a retake on the author, or the King Arthur um, legend, and takes place not far from where I live, and Chapel Hill, North Carolina at the UNC Chapel Hill campus. Our main character goes to an early college program and sees something that she shouldn't be able to see. Someone notices and then things happen. Um, very intriguing book and it goes places that you did not expect it to go, which I always find to be a real treat when I'm reading is you know, to find something that I didn't expect that's actually good. So I do highly, highly recommend this one. And yes, I have read that one. Um, the next one, I'm doing pretty good so far. I'm about to hit a snag, but next one is Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. Yes, I read this one. This is the second book in the King of Scars duology. It is the sixth, seventh book in the Grishaverse um series and I really like this and I like this one a lot better than King of Scars to be honest with you. King of Scars wasn't as bad as I thought everybody else thought it was but there was, I know what you're talking about, there's a place where they, she kind of jumps the shark a little bit but it all comes back in Roll of Wolves and it leaves us with some more exciting you know, books to come. Um, yeah, read that. Um, the next book is, my shame, Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hogg. Still haven't cracked it. Nope, haven't done it. I hoping if I don't get to this this year, I'm hoping to make this a priority in 2022 because I really want to read the Mad Ship Trader series. And yes, I know you can read that first, but I just I'm a purist and I feel like I should read it in order the way the woman intended, the way she wrote it. So um, yeah, um, have not read this one. So eh, to me, all right. <laughs> Next one, Hero of Ages. It's up here somewhere. Uh, yes, I actually got to that this year. I did finish the Mistborn trilogy, the first trilogy, and um, it was interesting ending, but I'm not mad at it. Um, it's a very unique magic system and world and all of that. I do recommend that part of it. There's a couple, I, I'm an unpopular opinion when it comes to the Mistborn trilogy because I feel like some of the romantic relationships are very juvenile. However, I mean, I guess they are young. But anyway, there's there's a couple of like thoughts that I have about the series and, as a whole. But I do recommend it. I do I did enjoy it, and I'm I'm glad that I finally got that trilogy done. All right, the next one is. One that I had on my TBR forever. Oh, the Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Bennett. She also wrote A Little Princess or The Little Princess, which I loved. Um, and this one, I think the size of it, it's really not that big. But I mean, the size of it, I think, kind of, because it was like, if I read this and I don't like it, that's, you know, it's, I'm, a, I'm committing it. Again, it's not that thick. I mean, when you compare it to some of these other books I'm holding up, it's not that thick. 
Um, I did like it. Um, it wasn't my favorite though. I mean, I'm, but I'm like really into Anna Green Gables. I'm really into, like I said, the little princess that she wrote. I like that. Um, I really loved, um, Black Beauty, all of those kind of books. Um, so this one's a little different. It's, it gives you the feels. It has a feel good book, but you have very bratty characters. There you go. I think it's the bratty characters and you have one or two who were really sweet and wonderful and they rub off on the bratty ones. So there's that. All right. The next one is Rebecca by, you guys know I can't say it, Daphne Demore. Demore. I have gotten that far last year and I am determined to finish it this year so I'm gonna say that I'm going to finish it but you know you guys hold me accountable um, if I don't you know if you don't see it coming up in a wrap-up in the next two or three months you guys you'd be like what about Rebecca um, but yeah I uh, want to read this you guys probably know what it's about lady gets married to a man they go to their he takes her home and everybody is still so obsessed with his first wife Rebecca and I don't really know anything else because I haven't read it yet so that is another ant for me <laughs> haven't read it yet next one hollow packs by there's books like on a cart and everywhere so if you're hearing that don't worry they're not getting damaged I would not damage the books um hollow pox the hunt for Morgan grow crow by Jessica Townsend I have read this one this was difficult because I pre-ordered it I got it I sat down to read it and uh Pages were missing and pages were out of order and all of that. So they were kind enough, Waterstones, to send me a correct one that was also signed. And I have read this book. Um, was it my favorite compared to the other two? But I will continue the series. Um, I really like this series. Especially the first two are very wholesome. That one's still wholesome, but there is like some dark... Um, kind of there's a darkness to it at the end that I didn't care for. I'm going to take off this very um noisy bracelet. All right. Um next we have more shame of mine. <laughs> Desolation of Devil's Acre by Ransom Riggs, the sixth and final book in the Miss Peregrine series. I I just I don't know why. I you know what? I saved it for October. And here we are, October. I th the I think I'm filming this on the 20 second so um and I haven't cracked it yet but this is one of my most anticipated of the year and I still haven't picked it up so um if I don't get to in October definitely gonna make it a priority in November this is like a definite priority book but so far no <laughs> I've not read it next one is grown by Tiffany D Jackson I believe I read this in one day um, really enjoyed this. It's similar to a, um, well, okay. It's a girl who wants to make it in the music business and a producer guy is interested in, um, helping her do that. And he's much older. She is a teenager and you can see where things are going. Um, and he's abusive and he's, uh, manipulative and it's an ugly thing but um, the truth comes out and all of that so I really liked this book a lot and um, I do recommend this one and that was one I did read here's another piece of shame the moon is a harsh harsh mistress by Robert Heinlein um, he's also the one that wrote um, why why can't why can't um, Pooh. What is the name of that? It's a book and it's also a movie. I'm going to put it here because my mind has gone blank. But, um, he wrote that and, um, I really like sci-fi and I really have enjoyed some classic sci-fi. Um, I loved, um, Invasion of the Body Snatchers by this guy. Um, and I wanted to get some more sci-fi going and, um, nope, not ready yet. Um, I don't know if I will get to that this year. 
Um, I typically break out the fantasy and the sci-fi a lot in um, the winter months for some reason, so no reason why I can't get to it in the winter. I feel like I'm really, like, like I'm really <laughs> shortened in the frame, whatever. Um, the next thing is Children of Ruin by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Yeah, I read it and I enjoyed this. This is very good. Um, it is the continuation. I wouldn't say it's a sequel, but kind of. It's a continuation of Children of Time. And um, yeah, um, if you read one, feel free to read the other. But it's don't expect it to be the same because we are done with the Children of Time. Like that story is told. This is a whole other story. But you do have some characters from that story, um, you know, crack it up in here. So, um, yeah, I read this one, really enjoyed it. Uh, Ray Bearer, Ray Bearer, <laughs> Ray Bearer by Jordan F. Waco. Yes, I did read that. In fact, I think I read that in September. Um, I did enjoy it. I've had discussions about it. You can check out my September wrap up <laughs> if you want to know my feelings about it. I love the story. Very unique, very cool, but there's a lot of very convenient things that go on, like big high stakes and everything's a problem and oh no, what shall we do? Oh, this just so happens to just walk up and be exactly what we need. Um, I don't like that plot device at all. And so I talk about that, but it doesn't mean that I won't read the second book. But yes, I did read Ray Bear. Um, the Beauty in Breaking by Michelle Harper. Haven't read it yet. We'll read it in November because it, it is the book club book of the month. Again, information about that is down in the description box below. Um, yeah, so this is about an African American ER physician and about the things that she sees and all of that. And I can't wait to dive into this. And then our last book, number 15, what did I do with it? It's right here. Um, if We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. Yes, I finally read it. I think I got to it in September. Yeah, I finally got to this. I enjoyed it uh, a lot. Um, again, I have feelings about this. <laughs> um, yeah, I really I recommend this one. It's a great... Uh, Dark Academia story, but I just, I have a feeling that if I were there, you know, in my present brains, you know, these are young people, so maybe they don't get it. Um, no one would have gone to jail, because in my eyes it wouldn't have been a murder. But that's just me and my thoughts, and maybe that intrigues you a little bit more to see what actually happened. But anyway, yes, I did get to that. So that is... The 15 books, or that they are, these are the 15 books that I set out to challenge myself to read in the year 2021. And it looks like one, two, three, four, five are the only two I haven't read yet. But I know I definitely am going to get to The Beauty and Breaking, and I'm going to make myself sit down with The Desolation of Devil's Acre, if not this month, then next month. Um, and I only say if not this month, the next month, because right now I'm reading two beasts of books. Um, and by that I mean they're they're big. Um, one isn't that big, but it's just very wordy, and the other one is like 674 pages. So yes, um, if I don't finish those in time to pick up that one, then we will certainly get to it in November. All right, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for wa watching whatever that was, and I will see you again next time right here on That's Beautiful Life. Have a great day, gorgeous.